going on governors chis school here and today we're doing the hunt for history we're gonna do some crafting and gosh bless please please no hashtag pull the chis school please hey everybody hope you're having a great saturday wherever you are good morning good after e good, good after evening good evening good afternoon all those things i'm still drinking my caffeine waking up having the edge of my hand clipped by the green screen. All of these things. Hope that you're doing well. Let's give a quick shout out to our members and moderators in the chat. Alexander, the one and only EQ. Jor, good to see you. Tedster, Eternal Knight, how's it going? Ultra Instinct. And a tremendous thank you to our legendary guard whose portraits are rotated on the wall of the war room. There we go. There we go. Appreciate your support for the channel. But but now, okay. Oh. Just kidding. I thought we were gonna jump in game. But no, we've got we've got a visitor. Hold on. Hey my kiddo. You visiting the stream before nap time? Oh, yeah. She went to the farmer's market this morning. Has strawberry all over her cheeks. She loves strawberries. All right. I think she's ready to go back to mama. Bye bye. All right, there she goes. Chisco Mini saying hello. A little guest appearance there. The command for migration information is exclamation migrate. For those of you interested in gumming the kingdom 75, 
We are in a very rare period of time where we are no longer Imperium. This is going to be short-lived. I just got my troops back from KVK. Sent about 7 million troops to die. So I got 3.5 million troops back. Back up to 191 million power. Looking at my troop count, here's the breakdown of those troops for those of you interested. We are not Imperium right now. This is very rare for Kingdom 75. This is very rare. We'll stay out of Imperium for maybe three or four more days, but that's it. So exclamation migrate if you want to join us. Join our migration discord. You can chat with an officer of the kingdom right away. No obligation to actually join. You can always just explore it. You're 133 million power. Wow. I mean, we are taking high power players as well. We already have a lot of those placements already lined up, but you got a lot of uh, dead troops. A lot of kills. You should definitely talk to Ruz and Cortex about the possibility of joining us. Quick Gaming, how's it going, dude? Okay. Today, we're going to be crafting. First, we're going to be doing the hunt for history, though. Now, on the menu for crafting, we got a couple items here. First, accessories. I'm going to be making a Peter Sickle. I actually have a completed pattern for this. I should have made it a while ago. I intended to make it on stream. Now I'm remembering to make this on stream. <laughs> so we're going to make a Peter Sickle on stream. We're also going to make another Silent Trial. I've been holding on to a pattern for this for a while. I'm ready to make it. Maybe we'll get a special talent. Maybe we won't. We'll see. We'll see. My luck? Probably not, but you know, we'll see. And then, of course, the legendary is going to be this right over here. The Embraces of the Eternal Empire. Now, you may be wondering, Chisco, why are you making the Embraces of the Eternal Empire? Which would be a fair ask. This is going to be my third legendary glove. My second Vambrace of the Eternal Empire, my third Legendary Glove. And I've got three infantry marches that I'm using. I'm either going to, well, I'm either going to get the special talent, which is going to be a nice improvement for my garrison with Zenobia. Or in a worst case, after I make this, at some point I'll make the boots, and I'll put another two-piece bonus on another march. And that's also an acceptable outcome. Joe Cooney, thanks for the super chat. Just finished KVK Season 3 a few days ago, but it won't let me migrate to 1075. Am I doing something wrong? How much power do you have? Are you over 55 million power? Are you sure that your KVK Season 3 is actually, like, it's totally finished? As soon as your season is listed as, as soon as your kingdom is listed as being in the Season of Conquest, you should be able to migrate. Forty-eight mil. You probably just gotta wait one or two more days. That would be my guess. Because your KVK doesn't just have to end; it has to be all wrapped up, and you get the troops back. Speaking of which, let's see here. System messages. Yeah, here's the troops I got back from this KVK. I thought I was sending a lot of infantry to die. Turns out I sent m more archers than infantry. Which is interesting. You need to wait until the map closes, says Cortex. And we are picky who we let in. That is very true. If you're under 50 million power, we're not too worried about it. If you're over 60 million power, we are going to be very particular. We are very particular. Yeah. It's all about team players. Everybody makes sacrifices for the kingdom. Everybody. Which, as it turns out, attracts more people who want to make sacrifices for the kingdom. Which makes it so you can take harder fights or... Um, have everybody lose less troops to get the same victory. Because everybody commits, you know? It's worth it. Show you the garrison commanders on my wall? I mean, sure. What's on my wall now it doesn't matter too much. You know? YSS Theo is the way to go here. 
Maybe I'll get some luck on your birthday. Hey, I'll take some of, some of that birthday luck. Suzuki, hope you're doing well. One of our legendary guard in the chat there. Okay. Let's do this. Hunt for history. Now, I already bought the bundle, so I can't get any more hammers like this. There it is. It's already gone. It's kind of been an expensive week. 600 bucks in Rise of Kingdoms, whatever. Adam, thank you for the super chat. Alex Harold or Guan Alex? Which is better in the open field? I would stick with the Guan Alex, personally. I would stick with the Guan Alex. Alex Harold's a great combo. But unless you have, like, a Guan Leo to back it up. The other thing you could do is, like, a Guan Sun Tzu and then your Alex Harold. But it kind of depends on how many marches you're trying to make, you know? Also, I'm going to turn off my screen flicker here. Darn you, Cortex. What's going on? How do you have resources to be giving? What's going on here? Settings. General settings. Get out of here, screen flicker. Bye. Yeah, Cortex is stoning me again. Could be. Could be. KL squared, what's good? Okay. Hunt for history. So as I said, I'm going in on the glove and boot plan. Now, as far as infantry set goes, there's really three pieces of interest to you that are premium. That is the gloves, the boots, and the helmet. That's because those pieces give defense, the rest give attack. Defense is generally a better stat to be picking up than attack based on the Season of Conquest technology. So if you're going to go for the two-piece bonus, it's going to be a combination of those pieces. Now, for me, I did get very fortunate. Although I have not gotten many special talents, I do have the KVK Helmet Special Talented. So I'm basically just going now for gloves and boots, personally. But any combination of those three, any two of those three, is going to give you the two-piece bonus, which is nice. And if you have a long-term plan to make this helmet, well then, stick with the gloves and the boots. But I need to go and get more boot patterns, is what I'm trying to say. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Now, why is my fire alarm making funky sounds? That was unusual. I don't know if you heard that. It just, like, made a weird beep. Ah, uh, Google Nest. You're weird, Nest. But also technologically fantastic. Okay. So to get more hammers, I mean, we got to do the whale move here. I don't have enough hammers to get what I need. Because we're going to go for these boots. Right over here. I need more. I need more patterns. The batteries are low? Weird, we just got them set up. Blaze Daily, how's it going? Train back to 200 mil. I'm probably gonna wait until a health skin shows up and then just train like a madman. So I'll probably hold back like 30 to 50 million power. Probably closer to like 40 or 50 million power to get a health skin. That, that'll be the game plan. Now, I gotta get more hammers. So I'm gonna buy them. A lot of them. Every hammer I can buy. Thank you. That was uh, a fair amount of gems. Yep. Yeah, it's a lot of gems. Now, I'm a whale. We know I'm a whale. This is not news. What am I gonna get over here? I'm actually going to take these epics. It's the epic materials that I'm going to be taking. Because I, I don't need this accessory. I don't. Eventually, all my accessories are going to be legendary anyways. It's going to take time, but I'll get there. I'll get there. Eventually. It's going to take time. But I'm always going to need more materials. I already got enough of all the other stuff. I don't need it. It's kind of whale situation over here. So that's what I'm picking. Okay. Remember the number of hammers we have. 285. We have to get through 20 floors. I don't know that we're going to be able to make it. I don't know that we're going to be able to make it, but let's see how far we get for these boots, okay? Okay. 
all those gems for the mats. They're 200 gems a pop, and I bought 120. So, not a small amount of gems. Hashtag whale problems. Here we go, dig. Let's get digging. 285 hammers at the start. What's it going to cost to get through 20 floors? I don't know. I don't know, but we could put, uh... Start, we can start this off with a little love, okay? We'll, we'll do a little heart. A little heart formation. Oh, that was sort of a heart. Got there. So on that first floor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is good. Auto is always better. I don't know if that's true. Taking the epic chest makes you cry. Whale problems I've never had. <laughs> uh, auto, it is faster. I don't know that we're in a rush. Will you make a video for the unlocking of the Vikings? Yes. We're going to open up um, like 6,000 gold keys or so across a couple of my accounts. It should be a pretty fun stream. There's five choices. I don't know. How many attempts is this going to take, man? Where do you want me to go, by the way? Top, bottom. Is XY Takeda good? I mean, Takeda brings the tankiness, that's for sure. I, I kind of would be interested to see that, actually. There's not a... Th that's actually probably better than meets the eye. I actually think there's something there. Make a J shape. Okay. Uh... I don't know exactly where I'd make a J, but the blue materials was good there. Blue materials is one of the better pickups here. Uh-oh. If every floor starts going like this, I'm in big trouble. Uh, the earth is not flat. Oh, two blue leather is good. There we go. That was a bad, that was a bad one right there. That took way too many attempts. Is Seth's call worth it? I I would not prioritize it, no. If it was health, I would say that's a different story. But attack? I'm just not convinced that's what we really want. Compared to the other options you could have. Make a pattern that surrounds the board. Surround the board. We have surrounded the board. And that did not go well. <laughs> All right. Awkward. If I get unlucky, I'm not going to be able to get enough pieces to make boots. Which is fine, I suppose. Oof. That was pretty bad. I mean, these are pretty bad. I, I need some stuff to offset this, or I'm not going to get enough. I'm not making boots today anyways, but I won't be able to make it in like a week or two. You got the last floor and ran out of hammers? That is savage. What about it like an X marks the spot? No? Not quite. Not quite. X marks the spot. Hey! X marks the, marks the spot. That was not the worst technique. Okay. Boot floor. Boot floor. Here we go. <laughs> uh, here we go. Chat, where is it? Second row, fourth. Okay, this is right, Mr. Joker. That would be amazing. Not quite right. Make a DNA shape. Trust in the auto. L shape. You kind of can't do, like, up and down is not, like, a thing. You got to do, like, here's my L. L shape, 
MVP. Right over there. Sturdy boots of the Eternal Empire. Let's freaking go. That was that was good. Offsets uh, some of the worst ones we did there. That was good. That was, uh, what, seven? Seven hammers is a good number of hammers for a single floor. Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. Dig. Reverse, good morning. How much power did I get back? 35 million. We could do a circle. Little bullseye. Boop. Third row. Third block. Already did that. Fourth row. Fourth one. Actually, I already did that one. Top left. Second one. It's funny if free to play will copy you with this materials. I would not put experience into Freddy now. Fourth row, seventh. Oh! Will! Nice shot, buddy. Nice shot there. Dang. That was a good that was a good floor. That was a good floor. That was good. More like that, please. Triangle in every corner. That's a cool idea. A triangle in every corner. Triangle. I got boned in that corner. Triangle. Triangle. Oh, good floor. Nice one. Nice one. That was crazy moves. Triangle in every corner. The technique from crazy moves there. That was good. Having enough materials to craft is just as much a free-to-play problem as a whale problem. Dude, it's... It's crazy. Here we go. Those were some good floors. All left side. All right side. All left side. All right side. Second row, fifth. Triangle in the center. Do we mean like that kind of triangle? This kind of triangle? There? Crystal key is not bad. Fourth row, third. Top floor, fourth. Boned. Bad floor. Uh-oh. Bad floor. Third row, sixth. Gold is, uh... Well, it's gold, at least. First row, second. Blue leather's not bad. Get wrecked, indeed. Joe, thank you for the super chat. If I migrate to 1075, should I wait to do the Royal Guard research until I'm there? Or unlock T5 before I come? So here's the thing. If you power up, it's going to cost you more passports. So it might make sense to queue up the research, but maybe don't speed it up. You got to watch your power and just make sure you're going to have enough passports to be able to migrate. That'll be my recommendation to you. Bottom row second. Ho! Oh, hey! Hey! Wait, wait, let me... Mikalicious! Mikalicious! Good call on this one. Good call there. Nicely done. Is Richard and Martell good for the open field? It's very tanky. You're not gonna kill anything, but it's very tanky. I, I don't love it, because you... You just don't do enough damage. And then they just ignore you, and you're not doing much. Alex or Esong combo, which one's more important to Max? I just think Esong is such a good investment for your account. It's probably got to be the starting point. You kept with the triangle theory. You would have got it way sooner. 
Okay, back to the triangle theory. The triangle theory of the hunt for history. We're going to do middle triangles now. One, two. Oh, two! Two! Good call, EQ. Good call. Good call, EQ. Two. 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 Let's freaking go. 6 a.m. Nico Gaming. Hey, good morning. Are you in Hawaii? Is that a Hawaiian time zone you're in there? Japan, maybe? Occult treasure floor. Gimme, gimme, gimme those boots, baby. What about one giant triangle? Okay. A giant triangle. I don't know why I haven't made triangles before. Ho, oh, ho, oh, oh. Whoa! Okay. Melvin. With the one shot. Boom. Dang. Wow. That's value. How's that for 200 gems? <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, GG's all over that chat now. Try auto dig? I don't know. It's working out just fine the way it's going here. Okay. Now make a C. Chat wants to see a C for Chisquel. Reasonable. Hundred and ten hammers so far to get half of the patterns we need. It's gonna be close, chat. It's gonna be close. We're on the right side of things, but it's gonna be close. C. Looking for those C's, baby. Chiss school gaming. Or double C if you are into barbarians. Oh, a CH would have been kind of cool. I don't think I can turn that into an H. First row first. Uh, you you do not get a troop return from KVK's one through three. Hundred percent of troop loss. Fourth row first. Okay, we got resources. Second row. Wait, second in last row. Left corner. Third row, third. Boom. Third row, third. <laughs> Brought to you by Chuck Norris. Thank you, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris, everybody. Thank you. Chat was looking for a CH this time. A little CH. Let's see what we can do here. We get a little C going over here. H is kind of weird. H. I don't really have room for the S that I wanted to draw. Kind of awkward. S, sort of. <laughs> Is Yadviga a good cav investment? Um, she's a garrison specialist and arc carrier, really. Top right corner. Make a crab. Next round. Last in the first row. Top third box. First row. Fifth is done. Fourth row, seven. Bottom left. It's not going great. First row, second. Bound.
fourth row eighth. First row fourth. Top row first. Oh god. This is going poorly. Second row middle. Blue stone is good. Third row last. Oh, whew. Juan putting me out of my misery there. Good lord. That was rough. That was rough for sure. 138 hammers. It's getting dicey. This is getting this is getting real dicey. Don't know that we have the hammers here. Don't know that we have the hammers here. Livestream fairies here. Hey, what's up? Corner triangles. Crystal key. Blue materials. It's leather. Uh-oh. Show my Saladin talent build. Check out my Saladin video. This event is like once a month. Middle. Bones. Third row third. Top row fourth. Third row middle. It's already knocked out. First row fourth is already done. Fourth row fifth. First row third. Uh oh. F's. This is bad. Fourth row fourth. This is getting bad. We're in trouble. We may not get to where we need to get to. It's getting awkward. Fourth row sixth. Good pickup. Third row, fifth. Wood. Second row, fourth. Gold. Virtue! 903, thank you for the super chat. Shisko, can you tell me if I migrate to a kingdom that has just finished KVK 1? If I'm on a kingdom going into the fifth KVK. Thanks in advance. Yes, you can do that. You can migrate to a kingdom that is in the off season for season two. They have finished season one. First row, second. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. This is bad. Third row, sixth is already knocked out. Fourth row, third. Swelly belly putting me out of my misery there. Swelly belly putting me out of my misery. Oh, this is rough. Okay, let's dig. We gotta do better, chat. We really need to do better. We're in trouble. How do I convince my girlfriend to have an open relationship? Man, I am just not the right person to ask. <laughs> Second row, fourth. Draw a heart. A heart. Where are we going to put our heart? Let's see here. Little heart. Japan is an okay starting sieve. Germany is still a better choice, though, for being between KVKs. Make an X. X marks the spot. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Natsu. 
with the X. Good call. Now, man, we are getting... This is, this is a little sketchy if we continue or not. Sturdy boots of the Eternal Empire. It's dig time. We really need this floor to go very well to consider still going. Otherwise, we could get so wrecked. Draw an apple. An apple, huh? With the apple! Hey! Brandon! With the apple! Woo! Third hammer. Wow. Wow. Now, let's do some math, chat. Let's do some math. There are how many floors in this sucker? How many floors do we have? 4, 8, 12, 16, 26? So it's like 13 per floor, right? Theoretically, I would need on average somewhere between... 65 and 70 hammers. Right? I should have enough hammers for this. Right? I don't know, chat. What do you think? You think I'm in the clear? Am I in the clear here? I'm safe theoretically. Oh God, chat, save me. Save me, chat, from myself. Should we get appling again? Appling was kind of a fun idea. Crystal key is a nice pickup. Apple. You'll sort of see it. It's like abstract art. A banana. Uh, banana. We're kind of getting wrecked off the off the bat here. It's a little. This is getting a little awkward. Outer edges. Those were good pulls. Fourth row, sixth. That was a good pull, too. Draw sepio. What? Fourth row, stone eight is bone. It's not bone, baby. That's the way out. Also, outside edges was correct. Well played. Well played. That was 16 hammers. Three above average. That was three above average. Dangerous. Corner triangles. EQ with the corner call out. Got it. That was a good one. That was nine. That was nine. That definitely were, were in good shape. That was very good. That was very good. Okay, what now, chat? Where does destiny take us? A trophy. Hmm. Hmm. 
Can I draw a trophy? A trophy would be like... That, kind of? Draw a beaver. <laughs> okay. Full second row, says Moo Moo. Fourth row, sixth. We're in trouble on this floor. We're in trouble. Draw the Mona Lisa. A smiley face. So if these are the eyes, then like this. Oh! Smiley face. Smiley face, smiley face. Ooh, that was good, that was good, that was good. That was okay. That was okay. Who said smiley face? A parallelogram. What in the world is happening right now? Richard Davis with the smiley face. That was a good call out. I think we're going to have enough hammers. I think we have escape velocity here, right? We do. I think we have enough hammers. I think. Hold on. Let's just do this. Dig. Do SW. Okay, it's going to look a little weird. S. Hmm, W is going to be tricky. W. Eh, it takes a little bit of imagination. Corners. Corner triangles. Uh oh. Family's doing pretty well. First row, fourth. Gold. Top row. Nailed it. Talal with the final shot there. Now. Here's where things get a little weird. Nah, I'm just gonna do this. See, I only technically need one more blueprint of this. Technically? To be able to make it, but... See, I could, I could like, chant it by going for this. And then all the other fragments could be the other things, but... That, that's silly. Let's just do this. Let's just get what we need to get, shall we? Shall we just get what we need to get? I think so. I think we just go for what we need. Okay. Sturdy Boots of the Eternal Empire. Suggestion was for us to get the entire middle. Which is kind of cool. I don't know that we've ever done that. Five down. No dice so far. And we have filled in the whole middle. Bottom, middle two. Those were good reps. Draw an F. <laughs> for no special talents. Oof. Bunch of requests for corners. Corners! Bunch of people said corners. Sparta said all corners. Nailed it. Freaking nailed it, baby. And now we're out of here. Good job, everybody. We're Gucci. We're Gucci. We're Gucci. Let's get crafting.
Okay. First up, the warm up. The warm up is the Peter's sickle. What am I going to special talent this if I get this? I don't even know. I put it on probably Sundock integration, right? That that's where I have all my gear now. That seems like the right thing. Even if it needed to be constants, she's integration too. Yeah, gathering speed. Dude, resources matter. Granted, the amount of gold I'm about to spend on this is... Whatever, but I'm a long-time player of this game, right? In the long run, this is going to be worth 8 million gold. It's just going to take like 3 months to break even. What's the big deal? This takes bone. Bone... Hold on. I have enough bone to do this, right? This is not going to use any of my stupid crates, is it? Right? Hold on. Let's make sure. Let's just make sure. All those greens. Divide by four. Divide by four. That's 65 epics from greens, right? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, see, we're fine. If I get this stupid thing special talented, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with myself. Oh my god, be so dumb. Oh boy. Okay. Time it to the music, naturally. Go, go, special talent. We'll see. And? No. Donut! Or if you prefer, duckies. Okay, sure. Why not? Ducked. But we will equip this. Get this on uh, my gathering commander right away, right? May as well. We had some though. Ta-da! 800 commander power. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. 800 commander power. You can get back to the gold node. Thank you very much. Okay, next craft. Next craft is going to take a little dismantle action. Joe Cooney, thank you for the super chat. A super chat? No. For joining the honor guard. Let's get those hype emojis for Joe. Who's just joined the honor guard? I'm gonna search emoji. To see who becomes the next member of the channel. Welcome aboard. Hey. So, what am I dismantling? Let's go to my equipment. I put a lot of thought into this. I really did. From an accessory standpoint, 
What I'm going to get rid of is this Ancient Stratagems. And I'm going to get another one of these right over here. A Silent Trial. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is unequip the Ancient Stratagems that's over here. Bye-bye. Remove. See you later. We have to dismantle it. Rip Ancient Stratagems. It was nice knowing you. Rip Ancient Stratagems. And now it's time to forge the Silent Trial. Felt like I should join the guard. I'm heading to 1075 in a few days, joining up with the folks in SX. Amazing. Fantastic news. Welcome to 1075, baby. How's streaming this game? I enjoy it. No, Zorozan, it's it's not bad that you did six legendaries and got zero special talents. <laughs> I've done like 23 or so, and I only have two. And I'm only slightly on the unlucky side of things, but I am on the unlucky side of things. Silent trial, everybody. I don't know if when I push Quick Forge it's gonna go. I don't think so. Here we go. Ducked again! Deep breaths. Ducked again. I understand now this is to be my role in life. Okay. Hey there, Artemisia. Here you go. <sighs> is what it is. Is what it is for this next trick. 48 crystal keys, we should rip them open. Let's rip open these crystal keys and see what we get, shall we? I just want materials, if I'm being honest. I just want materials. Please, materials. Yeah, I know, I have another unspecialized tome. I use six marches, which is kind of weird. So I, um... When I'm set up for Ark of Osiris, I'll be good. Open them all. What do we get? One legendary frag. It's really all about the materials for me. I don't know if this is a good or bad amount. Eight bone. Eight green bone seems not amazing. I guess it's fine. Some epic pieces along the way is whatever. Milky Way, one Milky Way, sure. Okay. Now when we look at where these gloves are going, that we're gonna make momentarily, the place they're going is on Guan. Seth's brutality, it was nice knowing ya. It was nice knowing you, we have one Vambraces of the Eternal Empire already. We have a Sacred Grip. I don't need these epic gloves anymore. So I'm going to remove these. And dismantle the Seth's Brutality. It's a crazy world we live in.
We can make lots of stuff now, huh? Hannah Howell, welcome to the Epic Guard. Let's get those hype emojis welcoming Hannah to the Honor Guard and a searching emoji to see who becomes the next member of the channel. Van Braces of the Eternal Empire. Gosh darn it, are you ready for this? I don't know how I feel. Oof. Man, 22% chance, one in five. Ugh. The chances are not great. Worst case, I'm going to get another two-piece bonus out of the deal. song's gonna get hyped up when the song gets hyped up i'm gonna push the button Mega rip. Phoenix, thank you for the super sticker. Oof. Oof. Okay. That's rough. Just give up on legendaries. Yeah. I mean, my next move is to shred the frost treads. I don't quite have enough materials, I think, to be able to make it. I can make the pattern. Yeah, but I don't have enough materials. And I don't think if I dismantled, I'd be able to make it either. I don't think so. I suppose we could find out for sure. Should I find out for sure now? Just be like 100% on where exactly I stand? We can calculate that real quick. We can see. So rough. I already did the VIP shop. Let's calculate exactly where we're at. Let's figure this out. I'm doing the math now. Mm. 
where are we exactly? I think I'm short. I think I would be short, unfortunately. Even if I dismantled it, which is going to give me 10 legendaries back, I'm going to be slightly short. This song is called Bring the Madness. I'm going to be short by more than four. How much am I short by? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm short by like 12 materials. We're close. But not quite there. There's nowhere else I think I can get materials at this exact moment to try to craft it. I don't think I have enough gray gathering gear to dismantle. I do have some. I guess I can scroll back through. I do have some. I already cleared out the VIP shop, yeah. I don't know, I mean... How much could I get out of this? It's actually a non-trivial amount here. What would it take to make these boots? What materials would I need? Wrong boots. Stone and the leather. I could get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times 60 leather. How many legendaries is that? One point four legendaries? Nah, it's not gonna do it. I don't think I don't think we can quite get there. Right? Even even deleting some of this green stuff is not gonna get me there. The weapon gives stuff too. It does. A hundred leather each. It's still not going to be nearly enough. I'm, I'm too short, even if I buy the bundle. Right? We're, we're like close. But not quite there. Even if we delete all the greens. Close, but no cigar. This song is rain. Waiting for the rain to come. Get out those gatherers real quick. Always be gathering, folks. Justin, thank you for the super chat. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. Now, if you wanted to do a little bit more crafting, chat, I have some good news. We could go over here and just do a little bit of crafting real quick. This might be worthy. Got a lot of materials over here. A lot of materials. Kind of an outrageous amount of materials. And I realized... I mean, I've been launching Barb Fort rallies with my Minamoto over here. And this gear is pretty bad. So we could just fix this real quick. That wouldn't be the worst idea. Right? Also, it is hilarious I could make a lucky coin. 
Dude, I got all kinds of gear over here I could fix up. We need to fix the halberd. We need to fix the pants. Oh yeah, these van braces? Sure. Forge. Let's start with the weapon. Seven hundred fifty thousand gold. Gosh, bless. That's a lot more gold than I thought it was going to be. Oof. Do I want to spend gold on this? Hold on. How much gold is this? A million gold a pop. Is this worth it? Leggies. Hey. Get that done right quick. That was good. Okay. Now we need to make these uh, bracers, right? 500,000 gold? Two gold nodes? Is that worth it? Is this worth it? Is this a good use of gold, chat? Or am I crazy? Nope. One no and one yes. Chat does not have a strong opinion about this, apparently. How many millions of gold is this worth? on my farm for the small amount of extra stats. Go full whale and make a coin. You know what's really funny, chat, is that I may go full whale on this account. I may go full whale on this account. Oh. What? Look at all these materials I just got. Okay, that was totally worth it. Because did you see how many materials the game just gave me? Turns out it was worth it. Hold on, let's do that again. Hold on. Hold on. What the heck? Hold on. Hold on. Equip. Whatever. Is the game going to give me more materials? No. Forge 30 pieces of equipment, and it gives me epic materials. See, here's the thing. Let me show you something real quick. Look how many gold heads I have. I can take this account and straight up max whatever the meta garrison is and just garrison with it. It's VIP 15, almost VIP 16. This account could win Zenith easily. I could win a Zenith the power with this account. Yeah, super easy. Super easy. Dude, I can make a ton of T5s on this account. I'm a little out of control with the speed ups over here. But I'm not going to win a Zenith on this account. That just seems rude my farm. I'm not going to win a Zenith with this thing. That'd just be rude. Um, but I am going to weaponize my farm. Big, I am going to big time weaponize my farm. I mean, I sent like a million troops to die on my farm, but I, I should just train a shitload of troops and send them all to die in KVK. Like straight up. Straight up. That way I have two accounts that I can just put in, into a garrison and the enemy cannot win. That's what I need to do. Right? Just be able to dump troops and 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 I just don't care. Who cares? I don't care. And I can make really good equipment. Like if I got a Season of Conquest accessory, one of them, which I could totally do. I mean, I could have coin plus a SOC accessory. 
Or if I spend for SOC, I can make two SOC accessories. I have the materials for it. Easy, right? So I can do some pretty nutty stuff with this account. And I have almost every commander. Right? Almost every commander. What am I missing? Okay, I'm missing a few. Who am I missing? Oh, hold on. I've been saving these for you. 21 legendary tavern keys. Shall we open those? I've been saving these for you. Here we go. 10 sovereign keys. What do we get? Oh, full herald. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Full herald. GG. Ladies and gentlemen, GG. Gotcha. That's dumb. What I really needed was a full Zenobia. <laughs> I could kind of do whatever I want. Okay. That's cool. Do it again. That was fun. Hit me! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Four legendaries. That ain't bad. Alexander the Great, Khan, Guan, Attila. Imagine another garrison unlock would be nutty. And okay, I'm going to buy this. F it. If I'm going to weaponize my farm, I got to buy these bundles. A spell blocker. I really think I should weaponize this farm. I really do. Worst case, I should just train a shitload of troops and send them all to die. Right? That that seems like a no-brainer. But the question of whether or not I could make a meta garrison is really interesting. I'm VIP. Look, I'm VIP 15. I'm almost VIP 16. Easy. Easy. And I got a lot of resources saved up on this thing, too. I got a lot of resources saved up on this thing. You know? Like, I don't think I've spent resource tokens on this farm in a very long time. I don't know how many resources this is, but I got a lot of them. Also... They didn't take my crystals back. Hmm. Okay. Keep, let me keep my crystal tokens, please. I told you I was close enough to being able to get a Season of Conquest accessory. So I could just spend like a hundred bucks buying all the pop-ups for crystals in a KVK, and I could totally make this account. I could totally make this account a, um, pretty solid. Like, I think I could make it a pretty solid garrison. I think I could do okay with the gear. Dismantle. Forge. Jeez, man. How many times am I going to have to make these gloves? Forge. Gloves. Come on now. Thank you. Cavalry. Confirm. Equip. Okay. The funny thing is I don't even have like a Max Minamoto. But I shouldn't even think about maxing Minamoto. I really shouldn't even think about that before I've done something like this, you know? Like this is free to me, so to speak, you know? This is probably the first thing I should do. Dismantle, weapon. Forge, weapon. Vanguard Halberd. Nothing. Dismantle. Forge it again. Got there. Calves. Confirm it. It's a lot of extra stats, honestly. Right? If I'm gonna launch rallies with this thing, I mean... What do we get here? 3% more stats? That's pretty legit. I can't imagine starting a new jumper at this point. I don't think I'm going to train T5 on this account, though. 
I, I actually debated it. I was like, do I train T5 on this account or not? Chad, if I make 3 million T4, and I could probably make more than that, it's going to be a billion food, a billion wood, and like 60 million gold, okay? Guess how much more it is if I make two and a half million T5s. Guess how many more resources it is. How much more is that going to cost me? If you had to guess. Two billion wood, two billion food, and one billion gold. That's expensive. I don't mind sending the T5s to die. I'm actually fully... A on this account, I'd send every T5 to die. I don't care. Straight up do not care. ZFGs. The problem is just purely, like, do I want to commit that many resources for this? You know? Now, the reason this chest is good, by the way, unless I'm a bozo, but I'm pretty sure that has damage to barbarians. It does. So this chest is all about the damage to barbarians. I could do Xeno YSS on this account. I don't have a Xeno unlock, but I could, theoretically. I'm not going to field fight with this account. I'm just going to train the troops and just dump them into a garrison and they'll let them all die. Just straight up, just limitless, bottomless troops until I'm zeroed on that troop type. Someone did win the $50 competition regarding the changes to SOC. But I'm not sure they actually cashed in their reward, and maybe I... I'll, I should double check. If they didn't cash it in, I'll give it to somebody else. Why don't I summon the commanders? Because I have to feel like I want to spend money on this account before I go and actually do it. Because I... If I'm going to get the sculptures, then I should spend the money for it. But if I'm not feeling spending, then I'm just not going to summon them. For now. I only have one farm. Probably could stand to have more farms. But the problem... I'm doing T5s, man. It's just resources. It's so resource intensive. And the whole point of having the farm was to actually feed resources to my main, not be a resource suck, you know? Oh my god, I have 495 crystal keys? Holy shit. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know what I'm going to expertise on my farm. Yet. Probably a garrison. My farm is better than your main account. Lol. I got a lot of keys I got to rip open. A lot of keys. Join a few rallies over here. Make sure everybody's got a full rally. Or a rally that can launch, I suppose, is what I mean. Yeah, I don't think I train T5s in here. I think I just do shitloads of T4s, right? Expertise YSS today. I mean, it's just not a need to expertise him, though, you know? Join her rally. Dude, everybody's rallying the barb forts. Let's freaking go. 
just make more farms? Oh my god. I don't know if I have time for that. XY is amazing on the field. Yeah, Zhang Yu is really good. He's really good in the field. I really liked the question earlier today around XY and Takeda. I, I am actually intrigued. I am very intrigued. Right? Launch more Barb Fort rallies. Short summary of the Legendary Tavern. You get a Sovereign Key every day for free. And you can also get more keys from events and spending. What you get as a reward is a chance at some Legendary Commanders that are different than the ones you can get from Gold Keys. So it's just like gold keys, but some different commanders are available. And they are good commanders, 13 of them. Um, let's see here. There's a bunch of stuff I could open on my farm, actually. Should probably go look at it. I have not even been doing a lot of the events on my farm that I should be doing. Should is a dirty word, but like, I just don't have time to do Siroli. I just don't have time to do like Golden Kingdom on this account. I just don't. A while ago, I've done some of these, right? Like 115 Siroli chests, one legendary weapon pattern, four legendary leg patterns. That's nice. What about over here? 75 Ian's Ballad chests. One legendary glove. Yeah, we could look at my restart. 74 Shadow Legion chests. Seven legendary pants. Wow. Four legendary chests. Hello, baby. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Oh, I thought those were legendary. And then I tapped it and it changed colors. Okay, sure. Sure. Okay. Dude, rally all the barb forts, apparently. Rally all the barb forts? Good. We should rally them all. That is what we should be doing. Let's go look at my restart real quick. A little verification required here. Okay. We got a pop of the merchant. Buy a lot of this stuff for resources. I don't know. I guess I'll get all of it. What else we got over here? Eh, not much I'm excited about. Okay. We do have a Holy Knight's treasure over here, but there's not that much I'm excited about right now. Increasing troop power. I am shockingly close to getting the top tier of this reward. I probably should just train a few more troops, if I'm being honest. I probably should just do it. That account is rich. Dude, I have some pretty solid accounts. I mean, you just... Even if you don't play it that much, you let an account sit for a while, like my farm... And it's going to accumulate a lot of stuff. It really is. Time is your friend in that situation. Farm this up real quick. Not worth it for 10 stars. I got the speed up, though. The rankings? Uh, the rankings for what? What would you like to see the rankings of? Legendary Tavern is when you hit the Season of Conquest KVKs. That's where that's going to show up. Hashtag pulled the chess goal. Yeah, we did. Why do I rally forts if I don't need the books? 
It's all the other stuff forts give that's pretty good. No, XY is really good in open field. He's really good. XY is great in the open field. Did I unlock him in this account? Not yet, maybe. I really need to. He's good. I need to unlock this dude. Best SOC accessory? It all depends on what you're doing. Horn is really good on commanders like XY that generate tons of rage. Dagger's really good for open field for things that are getting swarmed. Okay, so is Mora's web. Not as good as Dagger, though. Ring is really good for Rally and Garrison. Edward Ramsey's? I'd, I would not use that combo, no. For XY in the open field, William, Chandra Gupta, and maybe Takeda. We were talking about this earlier. I think Takeda is probably way better than people give him credit for in this combination. I mean, he's going to give you 40% attack. That's pretty good. Chance to get some march speed. Okay, that ain't bad. He's going to make it so that you heal, which you're definitely going to need. You're going to get 40% defense, which XY really needed. You're going to reduce the skill damage you take, which XY really needed. Take less normal attacks and counter attacks. That ain't bad. Honestly, it, it is pretty decent. Horn or web, which is better? Probably horn in most cases. But the slower you generate rage, the worse that horn is. The faster your skill cycle, the better that horn is. Can't ignore this gold. Should I expertise Trajan instead of Alex? That's a tough call. I think most people would say probably not. Oh, there's even a troop training buff right now? Oh, hey there. Tickle fist. Good luck in OL. I'm watching you. Hey, man. Good to see you. Thanks for the super chat. How are ya? Tickle fist. Back up to almost 400 million power, if I'm not mistaken. Woo. Horn is probably not what I would pick for Artemisia. Because Artemisia silences herself, you know? He's watching me, indeed. Let's get some Chiskul searching emojis. Oh, dude, I'm so hyped for this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I did... I crafted as much as I could craft, man. Every Everything I could give it. I'm, I'm all in on everything I could craft, switch, or change, or optimize for this matchup. No special talent, unfortunately, on these gloves. But whatever. We did make the gloves. Was hoping to get a special talent. Upgrade my Zenobia a little bit, you know? We do have a pretty important matchup this weekend for Ark of Osiris League. I mean, this is a win and in, lose and we're out situation. It's This is a pretty important matchup right here. This is pretty important for us. We will be streaming Osiris League on the official channel at 13 and 19 UTC. Big Papa wins. Welcome to the stream. Congratulations on your arc victory, Toby. If we beat FN 
we go to the top 16. If FN beats us, they go to the top 16. Now, Chad, I had planned on making a separate video for this, but I just don't know that I'm going to have time to make a separate video. So why don't we talk about this now? And with Ticklefist here, I'm sure he'll find this funny. Another streamer's called me out. Now, it's not like I was talking about this matchup like we're going to win or something. So it's just kind of called me out just to call me out, which is, which is totally fine. You know, it's not like I was cocky about this matchup. <clears throat> Negan. Like, like happened in a previous matchup. Just a general friendly calling out. Bull Burritos called me out with a pie challenge and said, Chiskul, if you win this matchup, Bull Burritos said, I'll take a pie to the face. But if you lose, you have to take a pie to the face. But I'm going to up the ante. I'm going to up the ante, buddy. And I hope you're ready for this. I'm upping the ante for this to be a pie slap bet. Now, if you ever watched How I Met Your Mother, the way that the slap bet worked is that you kind of never knew when you were going to get pied in the face or slapped in the case of that show. So this is going to be a slap bet. I accept under that one condition only is that it's a, it is a pie slap bet. You don't know when the pie is going to happen. If I win, you don't know. If you win, I don't know. I'll, co I'll coordinate with Mrs. Bulba. You'll coordinate with the live stream fairy to make it happen. You do not know when you're getting pied. I will not know when I'm getting pied. And if I win, or if you win, the other party will just have to always be anxious and wonder when you might get pied in the M MFing face, man. Those are my conditions under which I will accept your pie bet. <laughs> this has nothing to do with whether or not I think we're going to win this matchup. This is purely about accepting the challenge and escalating it slightly. Such that anytime... Now, there is one other condition about this... Okay, which is that the pie can happen anytime except when we're at war. Okay, not not when we're actually in the middle of a fight in a KVK, but otherwise anytime. You'll never know when that pie is going to happen. Could happen anytime. Just like a crab rave could show up anytime. I see your pie and raise you. What, what do we call this? A, a surprise pie? I don't know. Yeah, imagine like you're you're like garrisoning something or rallying something and you just get pied in the face. Not not during war, okay? Otherwise, it's going to happen anytime. So I really hope we win. Pie slap that. The best part is the anticipation of not knowing when you're going to get pied in the face. Our Osiris team gained 800 million power after our troop return. That is pretty handy, isn't it? Why don't I try recrafting equipment? Um, I'm pretty close to doing that. So, here's my order of operations for crafting. This is just my plan 
Doesn't need to be your plan. But my game plan, and there's a lot of different ways to think about it, but my plan is to take all of the epic gear that I want to upgrade to legendary gear and, and do those upgrades, okay? So I'm in the process now of taking apart epics and working on better legendaries. Once I've got a bunch of legendaries everywhere, I'm going to go back and start to shred legendaries and reforge, okay? So step one for me is, like, replace stuff like Frost Treads and Sakura Fubuki and Quinn Soul and Witch's Lineage. I'll leave Karak's Humility. But replace a lot of this stuff with Legendaries. And then I'll go back and say, okay, now that I've got, like, five or six sets of Legendary gear, which is going to take me, like, a year, then I'm going to go back in and say, okay, now I'm going to start shredding some Legendaries and reforging them. That's, that's like, the bigger whale move. You know? This hashtag slap high bet. <laughs> uh, right? So if I win this bet, I'll work with Bulbaritos' equivalent of the live stream fairy. That's Mrs. Bulbaritos. To make sure that the pie happens when I feel like it. He'll never know when it's going to happen. If he wins, he'll work with the live stream fairy to pie me in the face. Whenever they feel like it, I won't know when it's going to happen. So I got a lot of stuff that I got to like shred and then reforge before I really am on the plan of shredding legendaries. Although, I mean like, there's so many things I forged and then they changed the way equipment worked where I'm like, I kind of don't want this anymore. It's not that I don't want it. It's that I would rather have a set item instead. Like, let me see. I got, yeah. Like, I'd rather have the set gloves. And the set boots, it's just more stats, 2% more, but it's more. So I could shred those, get a little bit of stats, and have another shot at a special talent. I might do that sooner than later. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, my friends, but for now, we're going to head out. If you enjoyed the stream, do me a favor, drop a like on here. Consider subscribing to see who gets pied in the face. Come on, right? That's worth a like, isn't it? And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom and good luck with your league bets. I haven't made mine yet. I gotta go do that.